a little bit more uh, gear motor madness. Um, some time ago, when I did the first hybrid gear motor by chopping up uh, two different gearboxes and mating them uh, gearbox motors and uh, fixing them together to get different combinations. I tried another smaller one which uh, was mating the gearbox of one of these little 6mm gear motors and you can get these in a variety of different ratios. I use the 100 RPM output and the 120 RPM output, which are these ones from uh, eBay of course, China. Uh, they're very small little things and I use these uh, in the little radio controlled vehicles. Um, they're uh, slow speed response isn't as good as uh, you can get on the 8 mils, 8 mil motors, um, but you know for what it is, and it's a teeny little thing, for what it is it's you know it's not too bad, um, but it's not up to powering uh, a big vehicle, so you know I, I only use these for 4 mil scale vehicles. However, of course, um, with the uh, loss of my favourite K20, I was looking around for all sorts of options uh, to replace it. And uh, one of the things I found on eBay was this motor. Now, this motor is very similar to the motor that drove the gear motors that I really, really like. It is not an identical motor, but it is very, very similar. Um, and these motors are quite cheap on, a, uh, on eBay, you know, uh, I, I forget, they're probably £1.50 each or something like that. And I thought, well, what can I make that to? Um, and the obvious answer to get the sort of thing I wanted was one of these 6mm gearboxes. Now um, I do a little bit of engineering for a living so I know that uh, putting a larger motor to a smaller gearbox is pushing my luck mechanically. Um, but I thought well we'll you know we, we will give it a try. We'll uh, uh, see if we can get away with it. And I did that. And you can see the disparity of size. The one 6 mil diameter and the other has uh, uh, it's that profile and the major diameter is 8 mil diameter. Now uh, how do you fix those two together mechanically? And of course the answer is by using different sizes of tube that sleeve together. Uh, a 6mm internal diameter, um, a 7mm internal diameter and an 8mm internal diameter and that's what we've got. So we've got three different sizes of nested tube joining part A to, to part B and that joins uh, that type of motor to that type of gearbox uh, and I salvaged the gear off the original 6mm motor and so far as I can remember I very very carefully glued it onto the shaft of this motor. Having shortened the uh, shaft first using uh, a diamond coated disc being careful not to overheat the shaft as I did it. So that was the only other um, bit of cleverness I tried to do, uh, shortening the shaft to match the shaft length on the small motor. Now, so, so actually doing the conversion wasn't too difficult 
as I say, shorten the shaft, carefully get the uh, drive gear off the 6mm motor, and it came off quite simply, and uh, gluing it onto this one, and then pushing them together, and then just sleeving the uh, two together using three different types of uh, brass tube and a fix with epoxy. So mechanically that was dead simple. And I rigged it up to try it and frankly um, the slow speed response which as everyone knows uh, is what, I, what I'm interested in because that's the bottom line uh, when it comes to the vehicle performance. The slow speed response, frankly, was really quite appalling. It was very, very poor indeed. And at that point, I thought, oh, well, it was worth a try. And I just uh, shoved it away in, as it were, the spares bin to see, um, well, to just get lost and write it down to um, write it down to experience um, until today when of course I remembered I had it and I wondered again whether it would respond better with a different uh, pulse width frequency and uh, you'll remember that um, I discovered the 8mm motor works better on 60 hertz whereas um, my test receiver had been factory set to 700 hertz and of course I had tested this little gear motor uh, on the same receiver so it was working at 700 hertz and it wasn't working very well. So having reprogrammed the receiver to uh, 60 hertz, I thought we'd give it another go. And much to my absolute delight, it has become a completely different story. So a bit of blue tack on there, so I hope you'll see it. And uh, here we go. Assuming it's still on. Let me hold that, so sorry. Now, the problem filming that is you can't really see it turning. But it is turning, it's turning very, very slowly. Let's put it face on. Now this is me just nudging the transmitter. Now that is a beautiful, beautiful slow speed. And I'm just gonna accelerate it up. And in fact, I found out that this only gives me 80 RPM, which for my kind of work, 80 RPMs are okay, 80 RPMs fine. And if I fitted that to loco, um, I, uh, that'll, that'll do very well trundling around a yard. I don't do express work really. My layouts are too small for express work. And it's quite a talky little thing, even if it is a, a, a very little gearbox. And, uh, you know, slow speed response. I think that's absolutely excellent. So, this little thing I thought was a complete failure. But it is delightful. 
So a sort of £1.50 motor and uh, the gearbox off uh, a £3.50 gear motor mated together given the right breakfast in terms of pulse width modulation and it's lovely and of course the other joy of little things like this is uh, they consume very little power generally and that means your battery life is uh, very high your battery life will last a very good long time so a vehicle or, or loco powered by something like this will last hours and hours um, and uh, something like uh, a 600 milliamp per hour battery will easily last all day could last two days um, so uh, a nice little project to make and I'm now off to order more little motors of this type assuming they've still got them um, these were the low speed motors I think off uh, by my recollection they were about uh, 9000 rpm top speed they do different speeds uh, in this configuration these are the, the K20 type motors um, 8 mil major diameter uh, 6 mil minor if you see what I mean uh, and uh, I think they're about £2.50 for the pair or, or something like that um, so different types this is the slowest speed motor I could buy and that'll do this very well so um, I'm very pleased with that as a conversion and if I can build up more of these they will go into locos and they will go into vehicles. Uh, the overall size of this made up unit um, not including shaft is 27mm by 27mm by uh, 8.7 mil so they're uh, small and compact but very powerful for their size and I tend to just fit uh, a mod 0.3 bevel gear on the end of the shaft that's how I fit them to vehicles so food for thought <laughs>